in Area 77. A few changes here right now with this composition to see if they can better execute their plan. And already a lot of pressure on Dezia early in the game. You know, something we didn't talk about very much, he Minotaur. Um, and when I take a look at TOB's draft, right, Everything looks very solid, and then best player is kind of the wild card here, right? Like, we have Zia, who's up close and personal. You have this Minotaur who wants to set up for that. You have Hoon on the Angela, who also wants to jump into Zia, jump into Milo, or jump into best player. And then you have Milo, who's also up close. We're kind of divey here. We kind of want to bring things together, get these knockups, get these stuns, and let Zia do the damage. But then best player, picking that up early, gives some flexibility into I can get to the back line. I don't really need to stick with my team here if I don't want to. I have the way to move around, try to get to zero, try to get to Mark Cutie. So I definitely like the composition that the Ohio Brothers have brought. Yeah, and you can see a, a little bit more focus this time onto that gold lane. They know what they were up against last time, especially when it came into the, the, the mid-game. DPR dives under tower. Oh. That is Zia in a little bit of trouble right now. DPR cutting off his escape. Oh. That's going to be a clean kill onto Zia. Superstar still in trouble here. DPR maybe Link. Oh! oh, zero with the snipe. Oh my God! They they came into this game planning that they had to. You don't go for a four or five man gold man gank without thinking, hey, we're going with Plan B today, all right? This is game number two. You guys know the plan, right? Everyone goes down, gets the kill on a Zia, and then zero. This is what I want to see. Yes, I love the Goosh and it's spicy, but you got aim, you got aim, and he just took him out. Yeah, just when he thought it was safe. I was talking about, you know, perhaps Lance, best player, with that Angela combination, with them not being safe under the tower. But Area 77, right from the get-go, already proving they have a plan of attack under towers as well. DPR starting off on this turtle. It's just Superstar giving them a oh. vision. Great position by Merciless in the back. Comes in, doesn't land with that Falling Star Moon. And a flicker by Jules Cutie is going to get him out of there. But more than enough time for DPR to claim that turtle. Yeah, I mean, it works so well, right? You get the hook, you stall them, you make everyone go for Jules Cutie, but while this is happening, DPR's doing his job. He's getting the turtle. They've already got two kills, and this time we're two and a half minutes in, and it's a 1,000 gold lead for Area 77. This is insane. The Ohio brothers normally have one of the best laning phases than any other team. Ooh. Oh, yeah, as we're talking about that, Mark Cutie in a little bit of trouble. Oh. In comes a beautiful suppress, and that is going to be able to secure an escape for Area 77. That was clutch. That was so much more clutch than anyone can really think of. Like, Because if Mark Cutie went down there, it starts to even out the pace. T.O.B. starts to get a little bit of a comeback for Zia, but now he just has to go back to base. He doesn't take a death. Let's take a look at some of the items on the side. Of Zia, he does pick up boots. Mark Cutie only picks up the first pair, picks up the leg plates to get a little bit of defense, and it looks like we're going straight into. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, I mean, uh, I want to say a little bit of a lead right now. DPR uh, definitely having a better time when it comes to kind of. Uh, Chunking down that to get that farming done a right. A little bit of a struggle for the Ohio Brothers right now. Big hook lands for Jules Cutie. In comes DPR from the flank. Not too much caught there. Ooh, nice little vision. Stark in a great position to protect Zia. You know, with a, I didn't even think about this. With a lineup that Area 77 has, that Astral Echo, that vision that they're going to get every so often is going to be so crucial because you have you have Jules on this Franco who's going to get the hooks. You have Zero as these long hits. You have Merciless who wants to get flanks. And you have Marku who just wants to stay safe, right? So having that vision on a team that, that's like TOB, that likes to move, that likes to try to throw out baits, that likes to try to flank, it is going to be so huge for Area 77 in these upcoming fights as we creep into the mid, as we creep into the late. Area 77 still leading about seven, 800 gold right now. We're four minutes in. It's 2-0, and oh, and it's a match point for TOB. Can Area 77 even the playing field? I mean, I, I, when it comes to this early game, oh, uh, actually great positioning by Niello here. DPR doesn't realize it. In comes best player. A few dashes in. Uh, down comes the penalty oh. zone. Best player captures the turtle. A little bit of a skirmish here right now. Best player finds the kill on to DPR. A big pop-up lands on Team Yellow. Down goes a Merciless. That is two down for Area 77. Hearts guard is out, and the Ohio brothers getting away like thieves in the night. They keep, they reverse the tides, flip the table. The Ohio brothers take the gold lead now. 800 to their side. Second turtle goes to them, and now feels like they've gotten their groove. They had a little trouble with that early game gold lane gank, but now it's like, okay, yeah, you got over on us. You pulled a fast one, but we're still here to play. And as you know from last game, we know how to come up even at a gold deficit.
Yeah, and a lot of pressure now, right now. T.O.B. are starting to lay claim. Some flags planted in enemy jungle. D.P.R. chunked very low, 10%. Best player has him on the sights. Oh, Thorn oh. Rose misses. D.P.R. is going to be able to get. Thorn Spruce is activated. Oh. On the back, Zero finds a kill onto best player. That sniping of fingers are not done yet. Mark Cutie finds a kill onto Super Shark. And just like that, Area 77 turns the table. Zero's coming in clutch, man. Zero is coming in clutch. The snipe shots are on point, and DPR, he almost got taken out there, was able to jump over, get past best player. Hoon tries to get the final shot, him, even flickers in, but by then it's too late. Best player is in too deep of territory because he doesn't get DPR. He has to stay too long, and the snipe shot finds him. Let's take a look at some of this gold. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> missed the opportunity, but I mean, both teams, I mean, being very patient here. Uh, a little bit of a lead right now. Oh, we have a second chance. Thank you, Andre. thank you, thank you so much. Now, taking a look at Zia, taking a look at Mark Cutie. Zia does have a slight lead here, right? And those are the heroes we really want to keep an eye on. As we know, Zia and Mark Cutie, they both can be the game changers for their team. So those are the people we want to watch. It does look like Mark Cutie went into the Haas Claws. Going to have a little bit more sustainability. That means going to have some crit damage. Going to have a bit more speed. So that's why I didn't recognize that. Because the, the build changed when they revamped the Haas Claws. So I was like, wait, what are they going into? Is that Scarlet Phantom? But well, Scarlet Phantom's not a thing anymore. Yeah, and right now, ooh, best player nice captures deal. another turtle. Now DPR in a little bit of trouble. Get in a bad way between three members. Hearts Guard is out. On to best player. Down goes a DPR. Miello finding the last hit there. Mark, but you can see on the other side, Mark Judy not trying to waste time. Still able to find a tower for Area 77. Yeah, but it looks like Zia might be able to respond and take one themselves. Not only that, the Ohio Brothers closing in onto the midside. Merciless being it as nuisance as always, has only taken one death, but the damage from Zio is getting, zero is getting out of control. DPR's been having a lot of trouble though, Private. Like, it feels like for as tanky as Basha should be, he's getting chipped down kind of quickly. He's getting burst down. I don't know if it's because his team's just not there and he keeps getting cut off alone, or what the deal is. Well, Boxia does have a lot of tankiness. It, uh, when it comes to the early game, a lot of the tankiness is geared. Ooh, we had to have a little pop-up on the DPR. Now, the Ohio Brothers have stated claim. They want this purple buff and they want to refuse it. I'm actually not even sure. They actually were able to steal it from DPR. He's not letting it go though. Still trying to protect this mid tower. The rest of the team be four strong here at mid, and that's gonna cost Area 77 a tower here. Oh, big hook lands, but best player with the hearts guard. Shark always ready oh. from the side. You can see DPR gets taken down and two kills now for the Ohio brothers. Bro, they got it. They they can't let Milo keep having this Terizla. Terizla's such a menace right now. The damage is insane. The setup is, in is insane. You just get this full package right now with that from being able to buy that small split second, group everyone up, and then also just the insane amount of damage output it puts onto heroes like Mark Cutie, puts onto heroes like Zero. It even puts onto heroes like Jules Cutie here. So it's something they need to think about. How are they gonna deal with Milo? Because right now he's two, zero, and three. He's stacked, he's a level 11, he's far ahead of several players in Area 77. And that is gonna be huge as we creep into this next objective. A much different game from the first game. T.O.B. definitely a lot more confident, a lot more presence in Area 77 aside of the jungle. And look at here, a great zone, it's too. Not, they cannot break the walls to get in to even contest this first Lord. So T.O.B. gonna have a lot of wiggle room in this, the nine minute mark. Yeah, we haven't even seen like a huge Minoan's Fury yet from Shark, right? We haven't even seen the full final form of TOB's composition <laughs> right here. There's still a lot more possibilities. Ooh, with the hook. Big hook lands from the side, followed up by the Falling Star Moon, and Zero gets that final kill there on to Miello. A great hook there for Jules Cutie. They just dogpiled Miello right there. Like everybody <laughs> jumped in. We see we see DPR hop in. We see the Falling Star Moon hop in. Everyone gets him. They gotta secure that kill and they do get it. But this could be rough. Yeah, we were talking about that big pop-up on the three members. Down goes DPR, especially right before the Lord is coming. It's not on Luminous Lord, but the Ohio Brothers. Oh, Ooh, big hook lands onto best player. He takes oh. damage and the snipe there from zero. Just shy of being able to take down the Ohio Brothers jungler. But that could stop the Ohio Brothers from taking down a base turret, which is huge right now, especially with the wall that Area 77 is backed up onto. 
Zero doing a great job of just waiting for those moments. DPR, though, still going a little bit too deep there. Getting caught off a little bit too much. I think they Ooh. need to start respond. Oh. DPR checks the wrong bush with four members of the Ohio brothers. Zia already starting to take off with that speedy light wheel. Look at him chunking down. We are down to only high ground towers for Area 77, and they only have one tower to their side. They got to slow it down. They got to slow it down. They need to let Jules check the bushes with the hook. They need to let Mercy go in. Someone other than DPR, because he's just so far behind right now. He's level 11. He's got five deaths. Best player is level 15 already. He's out scaling DPR four whole levels, which means there's really, if, if we're just calling it a 50 50 retry battle, DPR can't keep up. They have to think outside the box when it comes to this next Lord fight. When it comes to some of these next fights, they got to try to approach it differently. Yeah, we already see that, Goldie. Look at Zia, 14K right now. 4K over the highest member in Area 77 right now. We were talking about that focus on the Goldie, how well he does from behind. They're not even behind right now, so it's just a matter of time. As I say that, big penalty zone lands onto Area 77, followed by a pop-up from Shark. Zia finds the kill onto DPR, and still more damage on the Merciless as he runs for the hills. Heartscard there to support Zia. Heartscard Zia is a big Problem. Our card Zia, the, I mean, it just feels like there's nothing they can do about it. And then you met, you top that off with Shark, who can get them in Owen's Fury when you need to. Like, who can just stop their engage dead on? When Area 77 tries to push in, Shark is there to be like, nope. So, I mean, Hoon's there to be like, nope. Milo's there to be like, nope. And there's just no way in, really, unless they can find a good angle. And normally, the person to get that good angle would be DPR, using the wheel, right? Being able to get around, hop over walls. But he's just too far behind. So now it comes down to, like, Merciless, really, or Zero getting a crazy snipe shot, or Jules Cutie getting the hook of his lifetime. But other than that, it doesn't, I mean, that's three answers, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of boxes that need to be checked for Area 77 before they can be successful. And one of those boxes being that Ohio Predators need to make a pretty big mistake for them to actually be able to capitalize on it. I mean, you do have some of those lucky hooks, but, I mean, we've seen how the Ohio Brothers rotate. You're not going to have somebody outside of Yellow or Super Shark checking bushes or being in front. They're going to make sure that if a hook lands, it's going to be something that's going to be detrimental to Area 77. We slow down a little bit right now. Unfortunately, Area 77 forced to turtle into base right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, that's all you can do, right? And as you mentioned, pray for a hook, right? I mean, if they get something big here, maybe they don't lose here. But it's a 10,000 gold lead for TOB. And at that point, you know, maybe ga a game wouldn't get finished with this uh, second Lord. But when a lead is like that, the possibilities are definitely high. Maybe even above 50% right now. Mark Cutie and Zero got to show up. Someone's got to get taken out quick. Yeah, big charge on to the oh. high ground tower. Minions crashing up at top two. Out comes the Astral Echo to widen those little hit boxes for them as well. From the side, a lot of damage comes in. Penalty zone, oh. pops them up. Hoon finds a kill. That's three down for area four down. It's just zero left. That's going to be game two, a full sweep for the Ohio brothers. T.O.B. shows them who's boss.